This Fusion 360 video is going to talk about how to take all your flat patterns in your assembly into the manufacturing environments, then to arrange them into a cutting sheet. Now, this is not for anyone that has a Fusion 360 personal license because they do not have the access to the arrange command. If you have any other license type, first thing you want to do is go to your preferences. Under the design tab, you'll find enable, arrange, and simplify tools. Check that. That's not absolutely necessary unless you want to do them in the solid environment. That will not be there if you don't check that box. I'm going to do all my work in the manufacturing environment, so it really doesn't matter to me. Let's get started. Now in this particular assembly, I have four sheet metal components. They all have their own flat pattern. That's one advantage of making a sheet metal component. You can have a flat pattern exist for each one in the same assembly. Now you can have other components in this besides sheet metal, but in this particular case, I only have sheet metal. The first step is to go to create and derive. What you're going to be doing is deriving all the flat patterns into a common assembly. So I go over here and pick on all the flat patterns. In this case, they have four, and they go into my Derive dialog. I'm creating a new design, so I go ahead and say OK. I now have all my sheet metal components inside this new assembly. They are all linked. That's very important. Now you could rearrange them if you want, but it's not necessary since we're going to arrange them in the manufacturing environment. Now as I mentioned before, you could do the arrange command inside the design environment if you check that box I just showed you. I'm going to be doing all mine in the manufacturing environment. So in this file, the next thing I need to do is make my layout sheet. This is simply a sketch done on my XY plane that I'm going to put out here that will hold my arrangement. So I'm just going to draw a simple layout. I'm going to come back and dimension it later. So that's just going to be my guest size of sheet. I'm going to finish my sketch. Now I move into the manufacturer environment. The next thing I'm going to do is make a manufacturer model. Now it used to be you clicked on the models to get this right click. Now it's been moved on a setup. Go down to create manufacturing model. I then will click on top of that and edit it. In that under modify I will then find my arrange command. Pick on that and I'll pick on all my uh, solid, my flat patterns and place them into the arrange dialog. Then I'll select my sketch which is my imaginary sheet and it will arrange them for me. I'll set my spacing. I got a half inch from the outside and a half inch between. You can change this to anything you like and say OK. To show you that this arrange is adaptive, just drag your sheet metal and watch the sketch update to a different arrangement. If you also go back to your range in your timeline, you can edit the spacings and you'll also see probably an update. I'll make it a quarter from the edge and you'll see it updates automatically. You can drag your sheet metal sheet around until you're satisfied with the smallest possible one you can, you can come up with. Okay, I'll finish my edit on my manufacturing model and return back to the design environment. Now remember this is a derived assembly. So if I go back to the original and make any change, it will be reflected into the, all the way through to the manufacturing environment. So let's give an example. I have suppressed a hole inside this sheet metal component. I'll unsuppress it. Save. Then if I go into my derived assembly, it will look for an update. You must be in the design environment to do the update, so be sure you do that. Once it's updated, you'll see the whole develop. 
if I go into my manufacturing environment, you'll also see the pattern, the arrangement update also with the hole. That is really a cool feature. Now we can also add extra components, extra pieces that do not appear in your top level assembly, but you may just want to cut a couple extras. All you do that in the design environment of the derived assembly. Just say I make one extra one of these. I'll find that in my browser. Right click, copy, click in the background and paste. Don't paste new, just paste. And you can move it if you want to, but it's not necessary. Say OK. Now you go back into your manufacturing environment. And you want to add that to the arrangement. So click on your manufacturing model and edit. Go down to your arrangement icon in your timeline. Edit arrangement. You want to add this particular pattern, this particular flat pattern, and will update automatically and rearrange. You could then adjust your sheet if you'd like to see if you get a better fit. So with just a quick copy and paste, you can add extra components, even though they may not be in your top level assembly. I hope this helped you do better sheet metal work and use the new arrange command. Again, remember, this is not for people with Fusion 360 personal license. Thank you.